In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this sky sanat edit that got me a $700 a month video editing client. Let's get started. Okay, and then how many subscribers do you have? Uh, subscribers I have 80, 81,000. 81,000 yeah, yeah. people that are paying $5 a month. So we do the math, it's like 400k a month. That's who uh, what I bet it is a month. Now a quick Google search shows that your net worth is $9 million. Is that accurate? I'm not saying nothing about that. And as always, I will be providing you guys with the whole asset pack that I used in this tutorial. If you wanna download it, just click the first link in my description. This edit has five elements. So the hook, then is the first animation, then is the retention part, then is the second animation, and there's an outro or call to action. And I'm gonna show you how to make each part step by step. And as you can see, I already have the raw video on a timeline. You can find it in the asset pack down below. So first, let me show you where you need to do the cuts on the raw video. So on the first second, on the seventh second, on the eleventh, and on the sixteenth. Now let's start working on our hook. But before we do that, go on the right side of the software and click modify. Here you have all the project settings. You have detail step and performance step. But the detail step matters. Scroll down at the bottom, you see a tab or a setting where it has arranged layers. Just turn this on, but keep it in mind that once you turn it on, you cannot turn it off. So just hit save and that's it. And there's another thing that we can do before we start working on actual video. And this is select all of the videos right here, go under the adjustment tab and just hit auto adjust. CapCut is basically gonna auto adjust or color grade your video for you. Sometimes it really sucks. So I prefer to like Leave the intensity between 50 and 80. For this video, we're gonna leave it at, let's say, 75. Now, let's really start working on our hook. So firstly, zoom in right here and go to the media panel by clicking the import. And here, we are gonna copy and paste this clip by just copy and paste it like you do any word, sentence, photo, command C, command V, easily. If you're on Windows, you can use Control. Yeah, then scroll to the video tab and click remove background. Some of you guys mentioned that you don't see a remove background button, but for you, it might say cutout because if you are not on the latest version of CapCut, um, the wording might be different because they change this all the time. So yeah, click on the remove background slash cutout, scroll down to the bottom right here and just hit out removal. CapCut is gonna do its magic and it's gonna basically cut out the person from your background. and. Keep it in mind that this tool works just for like person or people. Um, it doesn't work for um, objects or stuff like that, but I think CapCut is gonna add this in future. I hope so. So first thing that we need to do is add some black gradients. So we have this right here, drag and drop it on the timeline, and we are gonna add some masks. Click on horizontal mask and here you are met with this window. So you have this line, you can click on it and drag it around however you like. You have an ability to rotate it like this and you have an ability to add a feathering. So what's feathering? Look at this. If I drag this up, it's like a smooth transition. So it's not like a black line, for example, like the black rectangle, um, like this like black rectangle and then the photo, everything like fades together. So it's really, really cool. But if you don't prefer to use the on-screen controls, you can just go to down here at the bottom. And here you can adjust everything manually, like position, rotate and feathering. You can even add keyframes, but more on that maybe in another tutorial. So let's drag this up to right here. And now we're gonna just copy and paste it one time. Use the on-screen controls to rotate it and drag it down. Perfect. Leave the top, like the top gradient as it is. So click on it and let's adjust the layers. Drag it down in between. And as you can see, now it's moved in the background. Now you can position your playhead right here, select both gradients and hit Command or Control B. But if you don't prefer to use keyboard shortcuts, you can always use the, like the basic buttons. You can go to the left side in this toolbox and here you have an ability to do a simple split and you're gonna split the video. Easy as that. Okay, now delete the leftover parts because you no longer need them. And now the next thing that we need to do is set some backgrounds. So grab the background and drag and drop it onto the timeline between the actual raw video and the black gradient. Use the on-screen control to scale it up by pressing this white circle that's in the top left corner and just drag it up. 
Easy as that. Once again, go to the mask tool and we're gonna use a horizontal mask as we did before and just adjust the feathering to up here and you can drag this to the middle. Then drag and drop this money effect um, between the background and the black gradient, scale it up. Oh, we are moving the wrong person. Click on this and drag this money effect on top. But if you play this, look at this. The money is moving up. We don't want this. So, click on this um, rotation tool and you can rotate this however you like. So, I hope this is the right. Yeah, right now its money is going down. You can even scale it up a bit, adjust it. And once again, we're going to use the horizontal mask. So, adjust the feathering and once again, adjust the rotation. It's really important. So, now you have something like this. Perfect. Once again, position your playhead right here, select both background and money, and look at this. Click on split tool and just delete this part. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, whatever you prefer. So now we have something like this. Looks really good, but we can add more. Of course, we can always add more. Go to the text tab, click on the add text tab. I'm sorry, click on the effects. And let's drag and drop this text on the timeline. Delete the default text and type in Kaisenat. So let's type in Kaisenat. So, and not. Perfect. Scale it up. Pick a font by clicking font and choose this font. This font, you can find this font in CapCut. So it's not like any special font or you have to import it. You can just find it in the CapCut library somewhere down this list. So scale it up like so. Make it quite big because it needs to pop out and then Right click on it and create a compound clip. Perfect. Then drag and drop this white text on a timeline. Delete the default text and type in secret sauce. So secret so, uh, sauce. Okay, this is perfect. Now, choose the same font or pick the same font. Make it a little smaller like this. Now, as we did before, right click on the text and create a compound clip. And as you can see, this text is not really, really matching. So let's undo a compound clip and just scale it up. Perfect. Let's go back to compound clips. And you don't always have to right click on it and create compound clip. You can just use a keyboard shortcut, press C on a keyboard and you're going to create a compound clip instantly. Now. Right now we have a compound clip and we can add a couple of different effects. But before we do that, click on our Kaisenat text, go under the adjustment tab, click on curves, scroll down where you see this blue curve and just drag this to right here. And now we get this really cool purple color or pink. So go back to the video tab and now we can start adding the effects. Go to the effects tab. And here I have a couple of effects already in favorites. But if you don't have any effects in favorites, you can just use this search bar, type in the name of the effect that I'm gonna told you. You can find it once you have any kind of effect. You can hover it over and you see this little star, this little yellow, yellow star. You can just pr press on it and click and it's gonna be shown in favorites. Okay, let's go to our favorites tab. The first effect that we are gonna add is called Play Pendulum. Drag and drop it. Drag the twist to 0, strength to 5, sharpen to 50, and speed to 100. Perfect. And then let's do the same thing for our other text. The next effect that we are going to add is dot silk screen. Drag the color to 0, filter to 0, size to 5, and texture to 15. Perfect. And replicate the same thing for the other text. Easy as that. Perfect. And texture to 15. Okay, now we have something like this. We can select both text and drag them down here because I think they are kind of too far up. Yeah, this looks much better. We are going to add one more effect. So, it's called Slide Blur. Drag and drop it over. Leave the blur at 13, filter 0, glow 0 and speed. Leave it at 25. And do the same thing for the other text. Oh, not play pendulum, Slide Blur. Yeah, this is perfect. Blur to 30, filter 0, glow 0, and this to 25. Perfect. And how many subscribers do you have? Now, your hook should look something like this. And how many subscribers do you have? Oh. 
we are already done with the first part of the video. Now let's move to our second segment of the video and it's the first animation. Now select these two parts and just hit Command or Control B to delete them. Click on our top clip, click on animation, out and pick fade out animation. Decrease the duration to 0.3 seconds. And now let's repeat this for all of the clips. So let's go to our second clip, click on fade out or you can even leave it at 0.5. Let's leave it at 0.5. Let's do this and just click fade out. Click fade out. Okay, no, this is wrong. For for this sky senate clip, you don't have to leave it. You can you don't need the fade out animation. Um, where is it? Fade out. Do the same thing for the money and for the background. Okay, perfect. Now let's move forward and click on the second keyframe. You will not have a second keyframe, but position your playhead right on this time. So two seconds and fourteen. Perfect and you're gonna copy and paste this background. So copy and paste it, go under the animation tab, click on in, and we're gonna add a simple fade in animation. Perfect. Now click on the second keyframe, and then click on our background, and just drag this to right here. So the animation, fade in animation, will actually end right on the keyframe, so right when the movement will stop. Click on our Kaisenat video, copy and paste it, one time, drag it up, to this point, go to the remove background slash cutout, scroll down and hit auto removal. Now we remove the background, now let's start working on our second animation. We don't need this fade out animation, so click on out and click none. Now you can just extend this till the end of the animation, so right here on the 11 second, 7 second, I'm sorry, on the 7 second. Okay now let's click on our gradient and copy and paste it, perfect. As before, remove the fade out animation and we're going to add a fade in animation. Perfect. Now do the same thing for our upper clip. Adjust it. Delete the fade out animation. Where do we have animation tab? Right here. Add a simple fade in animation and we are going to remove the fade out animation because we no longer need it. Click on both gradients and just extend them till the end of the video. I mean, this clip. Perfect, now we have something like this. Now click on the second keyframe, right here, go back to our media panel and let's drag and drop the sky senate photo on a timeline. Perfect. Now we want to achieve some like a profile picture look. So to do that we can just simply click on mask, we're gonna use circle mask, adjust it however you like, uh, make the circle somewhere like this and hit back basic tab. And now we have this really cool profile photo look. Go to the effect step and let's drag and drop a simple blur effect over it. So, okay, let's go back to our favorites. And yeah, here we have it. Let's drag and drop it. Let's drag and drop it over and yeah, you can leave it at 50. It doesn't really matter. I don't really prefer to increase it to 100, but if you like it, go ahead and use it. The other thing that we need to do is go to our text step. Let's drag and drop this text on a timeline, delete this and just type in a simple question mark, like so. Pick the same font that we used before, that's available for everyone in CapCut, scale this up, so it's gonna be fit right in the middle. Now we can even adjust our Kai Senat photo, so everything is gonna be directly in the middle. Click on our text and drag it to right here, perfect. Now. Right click on it and create a compound clip, drag this down to down here, perfect, and go to our remove background, not, but adjustment tab, right here, and do the same thing that we did before. So drag this blue line to right here, and now we get this pink color, really, really cool. Go back to our effects tab, and let's add the same effects that we did last time. So play pendulum, by now you probably know all the settings but you are going to repeat this a ton of different times throughout this tutorial. So, click on dot silk screen right here, and then just slide the color to zero, filters to zero, scale to five, and texture to 15. And as you can see, this profile photo and question mark are basically hovering the Kai. We need to put it in the background. To do that, select both text, I mean, not sorry, text, the question mark and the profile photo and just drag it to the bottom, right here. And now we successfully put it in the background. So, 
Click on our question mark first and scroll to our video tab. Add a keyframe on transform and add a keyframe on transform right here. Now move 20 frames forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 89, 20. Perfect. Somewhere like this. And add both keyframes right here. Click on our question mark. Drag it up. Perfect. And do the same thing for our profile photo. Maybe it's too far up, so we need to drag it a little bit down. Perfect. And as you can see, the black back, the, black, the top gradient is hovering over our Kaisenat photo and the question mark. So what we can do? Click the back, the the actual gradient, and just drag it down, and put it above the background. So now it looks like this. Really cool. And if you look through this animation, looks like it looks really plain. The thing is just moving up, and nothing is going on. So what you can do is add some keyframes or the thing is called curves. So basically, you're gonna adjust the speed of the movement and everything is gonna look much, much smoother. If you look at any of the edits, like for example, Kaisenat or Imangadzi or uh, Ali Abdal, they are all using this, sp not speed ramps, but curves. I'm gonna show it in a minute to make the whole edit much, much smoother. Let me show you. So first, click on our second keyframe. You can either right click on the clip and show keyframe animations, like so. Then go to the land. Let's just drag this to somewhere like this. There you have like four different settings. So scale, X, Y, X, Y, and rotation. So for example, right now our clip is moving up. So this is like Y axis. So click on this, click on this little arrow. Make sure to click on the second keyframe, because if you don't click on the second keyframe, you will not have an ability to add any kind of curves. So click on it, click on this graph and pick ease out three. So this is the first part. And then you can right click on it and hide keyframe animations. But if you want to do this like a little more quickly, you can just click on the second keyframe, hit X on a keyboard, um, hit Y, then click this little arrow click on the second keyframe, then click on graph and pick ease out three. And as you can see, the whole movement looks much, much smoother. Look at this. And there's one more thing that we can do. So click on the question mark, go under the animation tab in, and we can add a simple fade in animation. So let's do this for both of the text. And now everything looks perfect. Position your playhead right here, where he starts talking again. So on the third second and 20, and add another keyframe on transform and move 20 frames forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 20. Perfect. And let's replicate the same thing for our profile photo. Click on it and do the same thing. Now, click on this guy's and photo. Remember this number and just drag this to right here. Type it in. And why did I tell you to remember that number? It's because if you would leave any kind of number, so if I show you like, if you would drag this to up here, the movement, the actual movement of the photo would go either up or somewhere down, but we want it to go straight to the left and it, that way it looks much, much smoother. So let's just go to back. Perfect. I think, yeah, look at this. Now it goes straight to the left part. And let's repeat the same thing for our question mark. Make sure to remember the number. You can quickly jump on a first keyframe, as you can see, 1188. So type it in. Perfect. And let's see how this looks. Smooth. And once again, we can make it even smoother by using what? Curves. Exactly. Click on it. Hit X on a keyboard. And as you can see, nothing's going on. And the reason is because we are not on the right axis. Click on X, click on this little arrow, and as you can see, it's shown up here. Make sure to click on the keyframe and then add a graph. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, add a graph and pick is out three. Really cool. Close this and replicate the same thing for this clip. Make sure to hit on X axis, then click on the second keyframe and pick is out three. Now position your playhead right here where the movement actually starts and let's drag and drop a new text on a timeline. Delete the default text and type in 81,000. Perfect. Scale it up like so. Pick the same font that we used before. Position it like this. Make sure to extend it 
till the end of this clip, so till the 7 seconds. And right click on it. Oh, before we right click on it and create a compound clip, we can add a simple animation. So, if you look at this, yeah, let's just pick this animation. And you can extend the duration to 0. Point, no, to 1 second. To 1 second. Right click on the text and create a compound clip or press C on a keyboard. So, now we have our compound clip right here. Go under the adjustment tab, scroll down and once again we are gonna make it this pink color. So it's gonna like the match the whole vibe and the color of the video. And once again, let's add more effects. We're gonna add the same effects that we did before. You probably know all the settings. So I'm not gonna explain everything. I'm just gonna like quickly run through it. But yeah, we're gonna add these effects throughout this edit a ton of different times. I think I said this before, but yeah. These are the most popular effects and make your edit stand out because the difference between like a professional edit and the beginner edit is just like in these small touches and details like curves and these effects that make your text different kind of stand out and clients and I mean even potential clients really see that and it catches their eyes. So just keep that in mind to always use curves to make smooth. For example, if you're using masking, make sure to use the feathering tool so everything is gonna like nicely blend together. And yeah, you can add or play around with this type of effects. But yeah, effects really depend on the edit. But always keep in mind that things need to be moving because people, especially this day, needs to be like stimulated in their brains. Everything needs to be moving, constantly moving around, playing around. Everything needs to look nice and smooth around. So yeah, this is just some editing tips from my side. Okay, we added our first effect. It's time for our second effect. Let's drag and drop it. Did I already add it? Oh, I already added. Let's delete this part and let's drag and drop another text on the timeline. So yeah, go back to our effects and drag and drop this text and type in subscribers. So, subscribers, perfect. Pick the same font. Let's position your play cat right here. Yeah, this looks really good. Drag it up, make it a little bigger. Go on. Oh, I'm sorry, go under the animation tab, scroll down and pick the animation where it says slide up. This is perfect. Now, right click on it and create a compound clip. And guess what? Let's add the same effects. So, go under the effects tab and let's add a play pendulum. So, 0, strength to 5, sharpen 50 and speed 50. And then dot silk screen. Color, filter, scale and texture. I'm not always exactly on point because it takes too much time and you could just... I just click something random and between 5-15 something like that should work. And as you can see, the text is basically going over Kai's head. So we need to adjust the layers. Click on the second text, drag it down to down here. Perfect. 81, now we have something like this. So the text... Oh. This is not, this is not the right text. I have to, where do we have it? Is this one? Yeah, 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 this one is the correct one. So yeah, as you can see, the text is coming behind the Kai Senat. And I did a mistake. Let's undo the compound clip and just click on the animation tab and increase the duration to one second. Now let's quickly make it a compound and everything's fine. If you're asking yourself, why did I do this? It's a really important part. All the animations, like all the movements need to not really start, but end at the same time. It really catches your eye and it makes your edit really, really smooth. So yeah, always end all of your animations at the same time. It looks satisfying almost. So yeah, take a look at this. So you see this text is coming up and it basically stops on the exact time that this text animation stops. And if you undo a compound clip and then you quickly create another compound clip, you basically lost all of the effects. So we just need to add both of the effects once again. But yeah, this is gonna be quickly because I'm not gonna explain everything. Just drag this around, click somewhere and yeah, this is all, oh, this is all good. Now let's find where he starts talking. About $5. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that are paying right here. That are paying. So position your playhead right here. Let's delete these two texts. So we do the math. Oh, what's going on? This is not right. So, paying five. This is the correct point. Select both 
and just hit Command or Control B, split it, and then delete the leftover parts. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So the first text, split it and split this text right here. We we don't need to split our gradient. We need the gradients. Now position your playhead right here on the sixth second. Click on our top text and add a keyframe on transform and go 20 frames backwards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 8, 9, 10, 20. Perfect. And do the same thing for our bottom clip. So, like so. And then drag this text to right here. And click on the top text and drag it to right here. Perfect. Now, what, what we have to do? Make it smoother. We are going to use curves. So, click on the keyframe, hit X on a the keyboard, then click on this arrow, as you can see, click on the second keyframe, and then just pick ease out 3. Okay, perfect. Now, close this, and then right click on this, hit X on a keyboard, then click X axis, this arrow, click on the second keyframe, and once again pick ease out 3. Okay. Perfect. To close this, right click, hide keyframe animations, or once again hit X on a keyboard. Now, click on the first keyframe, go to our text step, and let's drag and drop new text on a timeline. Perfect. Type in $5, so just put a dollar sign and 5. Pick the same font, scale it up, so it's gonna basically be the same height as this text. Position it exactly like this. Hit C on a keyboard to make it a compound clip, or no, let's go back, let's go back. We can add an animation. We are going to add a slide up animation. Okay. Perfect. You can leave the duration at 0 0.5 seconds. This can be a little faster. Now make it a compound clip. Let's drag this down. And yeah, as before, let's make it pink, purple, whatever. Pink, I think pink is, yeah, it's more pinkish. Now delete this leftover part because you're no longer going to need it. Perfect. And then let's add another text, this white text also, and type in month. So month, once again, pick the same font, scale it up, and yeah, make it fit somewhere like this. Make sure the space on this side and on this side is the same. These are some visual aesthetics that you need to like keep in mind. Then delete this part because yeah no longer gonna need it just split or hit command control b click on month go under the animation scroll down and pick slide left okay. perfect make it a compound clip as well and then guess what we need to add the same effects that we did before to both of our text so yeah i'm gonna be fast with this but let's add a play pendulum first twist zero then 550 100 and do the same thing for the other, 5, somewhere around that. If it's not exactly the number, it doesn't really matter one, one number up or down. I usually like, I, per, I remember, let yeah, 25, and let's drag this to somewhere like this. Looks good. So, 5 and f something like this, perfect. The first animation is done. Take a look, it should look something like this. Uh, subscribers I have. 81,000 yeah, yeah. Now let's move to our third part slash retention part. Position your playhead right here on the cut, so on the seventh second. Go to our media player, and for you it's not gonna be in the folder, but but you're gonna be provided with a fill and burn transition. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it right here, and we can always change the color to um, to make it more purple. So. Perfect, like this. And if you're questioning yourself how to apply overlays in CapCut, because if you can see right here, like it goes over the text and we don't want it. We just want a simple overlay. It's a super quick fix. Go under the blend mode and change the blend mode from default to screen. And that's all. Super simple. So we do the map. Okay, now we have this. And listen to this. Like where he says 400k a month. We're gonna add a simple cache explosion. So let's go and drag and drop a simple cache explosion on a timeline. Use the on screen controls. So one of these four lines that you see in the corners, scale it up and position it in the middle. Go to the adjustment tab, 
and just drag this to somewhere like here, align it to perf to the center, and as you can see, perfect. Now just split it right here, so on the 11th second, split it because you no longer need it. And now let's start working on our second animation. So position your playhead right here. Firstly, we're gonna copy our backgrounds and gradient. So let me find it. Where we have gradient is right here and we have the background and this one right here. So copy and paste it, click on our background, click on the animation tab and we no longer need this fade in animation. So click on none on all three clips. Go back to our background, click on video tab and we're gonna remove this mask. How to remove it? It's super simple, just one button. So click on this reset button and it's removed. First things first that we want to do is go to the media panel and let's drag and drop this typing text or effect on a timeline. I'll, it's going to be provided to you in the asset pack. Now, a quick Google search Perfect. You As you can see, it's shown on the right side. So we just need to crop it a bit and everything is going to be perfect. So crop it like this and now it's perfectly centered. There's one effect that we need to add to this text or clip. So go to the effects tab and let's drag and drop, drag and drop this slide blur on, over it, leave the blur at 30, filter to 0, glow 0 and to speed to 25. Perfect. Now take a look at this. Now, quick Google search shows now listen to the audio and right here where he starts talking about 9 million, go to the media panel and let's drag and drop this Sky Senate photo on a timeline. The first thing that we want to do is go to the basic tab and next to the basic we have remove background. Click on auto removal and simply remove the background. And there's another trick that a lot of popular creators are using to make everything smooth and blended together. So right now, as you can see, this is just a sharp edge, but you can blend it together super easily. Click on mask, drag this down and increase the feathering like so. But if you leave this down too much, you're still gonna see the line. But if you drag it up, basically you create this really cool fa like fade effect and the whole photo fits much better with the whole video. So give it a try and use this trick in your next edit. So the only thing that's left to do is make this Sky Senate photo a lot bigger. Perfect. Send, make it somewhere like this. And then once again, what we're gonna do is that the effect called slide blur. Edit. No. Leave the blur at 30, filter 0, glow 0 and speed at 25. Perfect. As you can see, Nine. this effect comes in right here. You can just trim this part and pick the animation called fade out to hide it. As before, we need to add some effects, but this time we are not going that crazy. So we're gonna just add play pendulum effect on this Sky Senat text. So yeah. Twist at 0, strength at 5, sharpen 50 and speed 50. This all the effects that we need for now. Let's go back to our text tab and once again, let's drag and drop this text on a timeline. Delete the default and type in 9 million. So, 9 million. Perfect. Pick the same font as before. It's really important that throughout the whole edit you use the same font and mostly the same effects on all of the text, but it really depends on the edit. But most of the edits um, stick to the consistent theme and the consistent look of the video. Don't switch around and play with different colors. If, for example, if you look all of my videos, some are using the yellow color, some of the pink color, some with orange, red, whatever. Just stick to one color and one effect and use it throughout the whole video. Scale it up right here. This looks perfect. Scale it up, extend it till the end of the video. We are going to cut it when the time is going to be right. So go under the animation tab, scroll up. You can pick the same animation. Let's uh, change the duration to one second and create a compound clip. Scroll it down, position it somewhere like this. You can even drag this down to right here. This looks perfect. And yeah, change the color as before. So we are gonna have this really nice pink color. Drag this graph to somewhere like this. And let's add the same effects that we always do. So play pendulum. 
is the first effect and then the speed increased it to 100 and the second effect dot silk screen as always color filter size and texture perfect now this part is done the only thing left to do is to add this cash explosion so copy and paste it it's not a million dollars now perfect this is what i'm talking about start your cache animation right here where the fade out animation starts right here this looks perfect Nine million. increase the duration till the end of the video let's extend the background till the end of the video and extend both gradients till the end of the video now this is perfect now position your playhead right here so on the 16th second and copy and paste this clip one time drag it on the top go under the video tab click remove background slash cutout and click auto removal go back to the basic tab let's add a keyframe on transform and move 20 frames forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 to somewhere like this this should this should be perfect and it's around 20 frames now quick, quickly jump on the first keyframe and just drag this down and as always, remember the first keyframe. So, if we go on our second keyframe, remember this number, 420. Delete this and type in 420. Perfect. And guess what? How can we make it smoother? Using curves. Hit X on a keyboard. Click on Y axis because the clip is moving up. Then just pick is out 3. Is that accurate? And now the whole movement is much smoother. Now count 20 frames forward once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 perfect and now select all of the backgrounds all of the gradients all of the text everything and just hit command or control b to the split it or you can click this split tool and delete the leftover parts now let's add the fade out animation to all of the effects text so click on animation and pick fade out and just click through all of them so yeah super simple super easy super quick now we finally completed our second animation and our outro so take a look now everything should look something like this now, a quick google search shows that your net worth is nine million dollars is that accurate i'm not saying nothing about that there's one final thing that we need to add look if you look to our background right now it's just a simple normal gray background nothing crazy right so let's move to the beginning and we can add, okay, a really cool effect. So drag and drop this dust, or it's not even dust, it's smoke. Rotate it around, scale it up so it will fit perfectly. Change the blend mode to screen because it's an overlay. And now you have something like this, really cool. Always keep in mind these fade out animations and fade ins. So yeah, do, a cut, do your cuts. Let's add a fade out. And remember, the duration needs to be the same. So yeah, add a fade out. Now let's add a simple fade in. Where is it? It should be somewhere like there. Okay, yeah, here is it. So now, as you can see, this is a really, really cool effect. And now we can just simply copy and paste this. And as you can see, we need to remove our fade in animation because it basically destroys the clip. So yeah delete this part and right here we have our transition and do you see what we forget to add here it's this simple overlay so we yeah, just add it and adjust it to the middle and now this is perfect now let's continue to copy and paste this overlay over our backgrounds so yeah add it right here um make sure it's below the money yeah like this add it right here make sure it's below the money once again and then go under the animation tab click none click out and pick fade out now your whole video should look something like this okay, and how many subscribers you got uh subscribers i have 80 81 000 really. 81 000 people yeah, yeah. that are paying five dollars yeah, a month yeah, yeah. so when you do the math it's like 400k a month that's what happened is a month now a quick google search shows that your net worth is nine million dollars is that accurate i'm not saying nothing about that now it's time to work on the final part of the video so adding some music and some sound effects 
I always prefer to start with music, so let's do that. Go to the media panel and let's drag and drop our music on the timeline. It's a little too loud, so you can just use the on-screen control to reduce the volume to let's say minus 10 decibels, somewhere like this, but if you are having a hard time adjusting it with the on-screen control, you can always go to the right side of the software and here you have all the properties, you can play, in the round, you can play around with the volume, fade in, fade out and some other settings. So yeah, let's move till the end of our video and let's just delete the music right here because the video stops right here. Now let's add some basic sound effects. Firstly, CapCut does have some really cool sound effects. They are kind of rare, but I have a list of my favorites. So here's the list right here. You can even copy it. But most of my sound effects I get like ex externally on a motion array or some other websites. But for this one, we are gonna firstly use a deep whoosh effect. Once again, this is a favorites library. If you don't have sound effects in here, just use the search bar, type it in, and you're gonna get any effect that you want. Then, like, click this star effect and add it to your favorite. Super simple, super easy. First, let's drag and drop this deep whoosh effect on a timeline. Use the on-screen controls to trim it a bit. So yeah, this should be perfect. And how many subscribers perfect. Uh, subscribers I have. As you can see, this is another movement right here. So go back to our import tab. Right now, I have it in my folders, but um, you're gonna have it separately, everything's gonna become for you in the Google Drive, so I just have to find it in the folder, but you're gonna have it in, like, um, in one click you can drag and drop it. So I have it, in think I have it in the sound effects and then... Um, whooshers, yep, this is the right pack. Then drag and drop this on the timeline. Okay, no, this is way too long, this is the correct one. Subscribers, I have 80... Perfect. And now, as you can see, here we have these numbers popping up. We can use a simple digital counting effect. It's right here. Now let's zoom in a bit, trim the both sides, because we need to cut out the silences. And let's copy and paste this effect one time. And let's listen. 81, Does it match the length? Does it perfectly? It matches perfectly. Now, let's move forward a bit. Let's see where is gonna be another movement. So as you can see right here, where $5 starts to come up, we can just copy and paste the, this deep whoosh effect. One time, perfect. Right now, we have our overlay. Oh, and we can even delete this part. I don't know why it's a little longer. Yeah, make sure to delete this part. Now we have our overlay. So once again, I need to find my sound effect, but you're gonna have it um, available for you in one click. It's called um, Chunky Shutter. S slide it up and hit Extract Audio. Make sure to delete this part. And now we have just audio part. And yeah, this looks perfect. Make sure to um, decrease the um, volume to minus five. Now let's move forward and as you can see, here we have our cache explosion. Let's go to our media panel and let's drag and drop this cache cashier sound effect on a timeline. Decrease the volume to minus five. Once again, somewhere around this minus four. Maybe, maybe little, yeah, minus 10 should be good. Now let's move forward once again. And as you can see, here we have the same overlay. So we can just copy and paste this one time. Now here we have the move, another movement and as you can see here we use the deep whoosh effect. So this time we can use this whoosh. I want to tell you another thing. Don't always copy the same whoosh. So if you look at my timeline I have a deep whoosh and then I have a normal whoosh and then I have a deep and a normal. So it isn't too repetitive because people can hear that. So and here we have the typing effect. Let's go to our audio tab, sound effects. I already have it in favorites. So it's this typing sound effect. Google search shows that you're Perfect. Split it when the actual typing stops. Right now, here is another movement. We used this whoosh. And now we are, it's time to use deep whoosh. And as you can see, these numbers are popping up. So it's time to use digital counting again. We have it right here. So we can just copy and paste it. Perfect. And then 
it's a simple slide up animation right here we can just use this whoosh once again I'm not saying nothing about that. as you can see one sound effect is too long so trim it so it's gonna be um, to, till the end of the video and the only thing left to do is to add some auto captions I'm just gonna show you how to do it firstly come to the top here under text at the bottom you have auto captions and here you can pick from different languages CapCut does, does not support all of the languages but it got I think it covered the main like the top 20, 30 languages so yeah let's pick English and let's hit generate and let's do one more thing before we generate captions when the sound effects and the musics are playing especially if the music has lyrics CapCut will basically pick the the lyrics from the music and create auto captions for that sometimes it's not even gonna create um, captions for the people talking so the solution for that is basically zoom out select all of the audio and music and just press V on a keyboard to kinda hide it or disable it for now then add your auto captions so let's add our captions Gener let's generate it let's wait till the actual processing is done it, this really depends on the length of the video right now it's just a simple cl um, clip and as you can see Capca did a really really good job now you can just go to down here and press V again and we are almost done let's zoom in and there are a couple of kind of settings that I really like to do with my captions nothing complicated I'm just gonna show it you to you really quickly so firstly yeah pick a font that you like um, yeah this is not the best one let's use this one I prefer to use a font size between 12 and 15 so yeah for this one I'm gonna use um, 12 I always add shadows so opacity to somewhere around 50 blurriness to 50 and I leave this to as it is then I like to um, change the position to this really depends on the the actual height of the where, where the person is talking but yeah and another thing that I really like to do is where do we have it animations captions and I really like to pick this bounce out animation so basically CapCut is displaying one word at a time and it looks really cool because it's a, a, a lot more engaging than the whole like chunk of text on the screen once at once and as you can see this big text is playing on the screen so we don't need captions right here and yeah we need captions right here and then quick google search we don't need this and we don't even need this then I think this is all the things that we need so here's the final video and how many subscribers do you have? Uh, subscribers I have 80, 81,000 81,000 yeah, yeah. people that are paying five dollars a month so we do the math it's like 400k a month that's what I bet it is a month now a quick google search shows that your net worth is nine million dollars is that accurate? I'm not saying nothing about that and if you want to blow up on social media either on Instagram, YouTube or Twitter and land your first client you need this viral editing pack this is basically the exact pack that I'm using on a daily basis to go from zero to over 30,000 followers pack comes with motion backgrounds film and burn transition overlays sound effects, lots, fonts and much more click the second link in my description and finally land your first client if you enjoyed this video and found it really valuable make sure to hit the subscribe button and watch this video where you will learn how I made this Mr. Beast edit that got me a $14,000 a month video editing client. Peace out.